Okay, you can start now. Uh, thank you very much, sir, uh, giving me the opportunity. Assalamu alaikum and a very good evening, uh, dear uh, uh, sir and my mates. Uh, today, my presentation is on electric discharge machining, which is in short, EDM. Okay, mm, this is a kind of popular, uh, uh, this is a popular uh, machining uh, uh, process, you can say. I'll be covering the contents as you can see, history, introduction, principle of EDM, construction, and so on. Finally, there are basically two types of EDM. One is uh, normal EDM, simple, you can say, and other is wire cut EDM. So uh, these two colors are particularly used for uh, defining those two or differentiating those two. Finally, I'll uh, I mean, come to some advantage, disadvantages, and future scope of this electric discharge machining. So let us embark on to other part, history. As you can see, it was first discovered by uh, Joseph Priestley. Uh, he's a man from uh, Britain. Okay, later on, uh, during the height of, you can say, uh, Cold War, or uh, say 1940s, two Russian brothers, they started working on a particular project to, you know, how to reduce the decay of tungsten material, tungsten tool particularly. So once they had been working on this thing, they could not be successful in their research. But what the uh, corollary was, or you can say the byproduct was, they found if they put this tungsten uh, contact in a dielectric medium, dielectric fluid, you can say, then the erosion of that tool can be reused. From there, they discovered that, okay, this is a new machining process in which we can probably machine some of the hard metal, which are difficult to machine through the conventional machining process. Conventional machining process means with those, you know, uh, say cutting uh, or drilling or uh, say uh, milling, something like that. So that's how electric discharge machining evolved. Now uh, in mid eighties, it got the, you know, the present status. Uh, it has become very I mean, popular. You'll find that even uh, in our domestic tools, say if you have of using a meat mincer, I mean, those which make, uh, say, for kebab uh, of, uh, say, beef. So those things, those machining pieces of the parts of those machines are made by this electric discharge machine. This is just to share you with you uh, in our day-to-day -day how this thing is coming. This is basically a popular kind of machining process. So that was a little bit of history today. It's a viable technique and that helped shape the metal working industry uh, in a smarter way. So, uh, so uh, let's embark on the I mean, process itself. The electric discharge machining in short EDM is uh, based on the thermoelectric energy created between a watt piece and an electric electrode submerged in an insulated dielectric fluid. As I said, those uh, 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 Lazarenko brothers, it has come from that tungsten. Once they have put that tungsten tool in a dielectric medium, tungsten become controlled. Exactly that is the principle. The tool works here as the, uh, say, cathode and the workpiece, the thing you need to machine, work as your anode and anode erodes in a controlled medium that is the dielectric fluid. So it is an electrothermal non-traditional machining process. Traditional machining process are those drilling uh, in and those things. And this is non-traditional. Electrical energy is used to generate electrical spark and material mainly occurs due to the thermal energy of the spark. That sparks remove the or erodes the metal in a controlled way. That's how it, it is machined, okay? EDM is used for hard metals, which are electrically conductive. So the precondition is that 
the work piece or the metal you are going to work on, it has to be electrically conductive. Say, some metals which are not electrically conductive, you cannot uh, addition with these things, this process. Okay, so uh, the principle of EDM is also called electro discharge or spark erosion or electro erosion. And it is based on erosion of metals by spark, spark discharge, as we have already said. Now, uh, uh, when two current carrying conductors or wires are allowed to touch each other, an arc is produced. And at the point of the contact between those two wires, a small portion of metal is eroded away. And if you, uh, the more you put the control, or the better dielectric medium you use, that become fine. And uh, by the extreme heat of that arc, that leaves the small crater, which is the machine basically. Okay. Now uh, the principle of uh, uh, EDM uh, that I already said that the uh, crater that is created by the extreme heat of the arc, that is the uh, 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 that is how machining is done. And that is the principle of EDM. So uh, this is basically spark erosion or electro erosion. And uh, it is done by the erosion of metal by spark discharge between two poles. So the, as I said that the workpiece is the conductive material and this is the anode and the tool. Uh, that tool is the cathode. And once the uh, spark occurs, then the uh, uh, metal is removed from the uh, uh, workpiece by creating a small crater. That is crater is the basically machining. And uh, you put the uh, control, or you can say control machining, control, making a control crater, that gives you different shapes. That I'll show later on in the presentation. Okay. In EDM, when a discharge takes place between two points of anode and cathode, the intense heat generated near the zone melts and evaporates the material in the sparking zone. The workpiece and tool both are submerged in dielectric fluid, hydrocarbon or mineral oils. Okay, what is dielectric fluid? Dielectric fluid is nothing but it's kind of insulating fluid. Say water can be used as a dielectric fluid, provided that your water is totally, uh, say, ion free. It is called deionized water. So they have some process of, you know, removing the uh, uh, ions from the metal. Normally in the water, if you can say hard water, uh, if you can remember, uh, particularly in the cool area, the water you get uh, from in the water table, that is little saline, little salty. So that salt present in the water, that creates the uh, uh, ions in the, say, uh, copper sulfate, calcium sulfate, calcium ion, and there is sulfate ion. That is the ionization. So if uh, you should not use this thing, you have to do the deionization of water and then you can use it as a dielectric fluid for this. Even you know, uh, hydrocarbons like kerosene can be used as dielectric uh, fluid or medium in the EDM process, electric discharge machining process. Okay, uh, that is how here uh, the construction of the um, EDM machine. Uh, as you can see the red one, that is the movable electrode or the tool. Okay, and uh, the workpiece that is a conductive material which is submerged. If you can see the blue part, that is the dielectric fluid. It has to remain submerged. Okay, and uh, uh, power supply, uh, there is power supply, there is rectifier unit. We will discuss this part later on in a little bit uh, descriptive way. What is power supply, how it works like that. Switching to next. So here comes power supply. The main major components are mainly power supply unit, then the tool electrode, the spark generator, dielectric fluid. These are the main components of EDM. So what is the job of uh, power supply unit? The power supply converts the AC into pulsed DC. What is pulsed DC? Pulsed DC is basically nothing but kind of, you know, uh, in an like alternating current, what do we have? We have the sinusoidal waves. So if you put some rectifier unit, that, gives you the, uh, say, uh, AC. You have only, say, the top part of the sinusoidal wave, always the top part. That is the, uh, uh, you can say, full rectification. Uh, <clears throat> okay, 
at the end of this uh, presentation, there is uh, what is pulse DC, it is there. So you make it like that by rectifier unit. That is the job of the power supply unit. It converts the AC into pulse DC. Okay. DC, as we know that DC, the uh, uh, output is always constant all through, but pulse DC is little different. That uh, I will show you later on. Last part of the presentation, it is there. Okay, so it produces the uh, spark between tool and the workpiece. This high power pulsed output is responsible for generating spark between the uh, uh, electrodes. That is one is the workpiece and another is the tool, EDM tool. So tool electrode, shape of the tool should be replica of the desired product. So this is one vital point. I mean, the product you desire or the kind of machining you desire, it will be the tool head would be that kind of template. It's a kind of template that will create that kind of crater in the workpiece, except that an allowance is made for the site clearance so that the tool can move. Okay, overcuts for uh, uh, broaching uh, uh, small holes. Okay, solid tool uh, may be used, but for larger ones, hollow tools are used. This is uh, the integrity of the tool for this integrity, this uh, solid tool, small tool, it can be used as solid part and uh, um, hollow tool. When the tool is larger, in that case, you can use a hollow. I'll show you those tools even, I have those pictures. Okay, next the spark generator. The spark generator performs and the important function of supplying sufficient voltage to initiate the and maintaining the discharge. It also absorbs the supply of varying current intensity and the discharge duration and control the recurring rhythm of the discharge. As I have said that it is the pulsed DC. I mean, it is not continuous. DC is kind of continuous. AC is sinusoidal. Okay. But this one is kind of uh, recurring rhythm. Okay. That is due to the pulsed DC. Okay. Then the dielectric fluid. In EDM, the dielectric fluid, fluid is uh, flushed through the spark gap. You know, the job of dielectric fluid is to remove the materials that is eroded. Okay, so it is a flow, continuous flow is there. It is supplied either to a hole in the tool or from external jet. The fluid works as the spark conductor as well. The widely used dielectric fluid is kerosene. As I said, the hydrocarbon based uh, dielectric fluid is kerosene. Other use are deionized water, silicon oil, ethylene glycol, etc. Ethylene glycol, it has got another application, as you know, it can be used as, you know, radiator, a kind of coolant, sealant, something like that, ethylene glycol. Generally, we use in our uh, IC engine applications. Okay, as I've said, the dielectric fluid, uh, as kerosene is used, you know, kerosene is no more used, as the kerosene has a very volatile, or you can say the uh, 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 low flash point, and the discharge, electric discharge machining, the discharge is creating huge temperature. So there are occasions when there are accident, huge explosion from using the dielectric fluid as kerosene. Okay, so uh, kerosene is no more used in present days. Generally, most widely used is deionized water. The fluid must be hydrocarbon because uh, deionization occurs due to the involvement of hydrogen in the hydrocarbon. Okay. So now the tool material. The uh, selection of tool material is depend upon the various factor. The main factor is the tool should be electrically conductive. Okay. Other factors are volume of material to be removed, required surface finish, desired tolerance, wire ratio, and minimum. Now the materials that can be used for making tool are brass, copper, tungsten, graphite. Graphite is the only known metal which is a uh, you can say metamorph, uh, uh, metaphor of uh, carbon. Now, dielectric properties, that is desired dielectric properties from the dielectric fluid. The dielectric fluid used in EDM should have the following desired properties, that is sufficient dielectric strength. It will not, uh, chemically it should be stable. Then, uh, 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 I mean, uh, it should be chemically stable at the same dielectric strength means uh, the, uh, you can say, um, Insulation capability. Its insulation capability should be sufficient. That is the sufficient dielectric strength. Now, 
should have low viscosity and good weighting capacity and chemically natural and stable should not evolve toxic vapor during entire operation range okay the flash point should be high as i said the kerosene is no more used as because it has a very low flash point to provide sufficient cooling medium as it is said that the edm produces huge temperature uh, in the contact space so the dielectric fluid as it removes the uh, eroded metals so it will have to use have to be used as a cooling medium as well and it should provide sufficient cooling it should be cheap and easily available okay then uh, should flush the debris produced during the operation basically two main function one is produce uh, providing the insulation between the tool and the workpiece and second one is to flush away the debris so uh, it must have this property it should flush the debris produced during the operation okay now the advantages of uh, our idiom first is the hard and tough metals can be machined with better surface finish complex and intricate shapes may be can be machined no cutting force due to contact between metal and what uh, piece the surface finish is non directional okay. no effects of material hardness and tool wear tolerance up to 0.4 micrometer is achieved then secondary finishing operation can be neglected no heat treatment is required before machine now disadvantage low material removal rate okay the workpiece must be electric conductor okay non conductors cannot be i mean utilized uh, used as workpiece or you cannot work on that the surface after finishing is highly stressed absolutely because the temperature range is very high in the edm so uh, the uh, uh, those parts and i am also i have said that they, they produce very intricate shapes so those uh, parts are really stressed internally stressed then machining time is too long as the erode that's how the machining time is too long however these things have been improved this is the normal edm edm i said that there is another edm called wire cut edm those thing have been i mean you know removed in the wire cut edm these are uh, disadvantages specific power consumption is too high definitely the uh, potential difference between the anode and the cathode has to be very high otherwise the spark will not generate overcoming the insulation of the dielectric medium you know the dielectric medium is uh, insulated providing insulation and the potential difference between anode and cathode has to be such high that it will overcome that dielectric mediums insulation that's why the specific power consumption is too high so this is uh, the cost benefit ratio analysis point this one excessive tool wear yes that is also another part the tool it has to be you know if you use copper brass those things okay then maybe uh, uh, the application how long you can use one tool that is one part uh, which uh, i mean is the consideration of cost of machining okay next the application why we use the edm it is used in the production of dye for fabrication of all components okay mainly dye say you want to make coins those dyes those intricate shapes in a coin say one taka coin of bangladesh you have to put the picture of someone say father of the nation some monogram of uh, our national emblem the water lily those things those kind of things are uh, uh, used the dyes are made by the edm process edm can be used in manufacturing of hydraulic valve spools gear wheels fine holes or slot in hard blade materials uh used in gas turbines gas turbine blade one uh, very uh, important application of this uh, edm compressors diesel engine etc it is used in fabrication extrusion blanking stamping and embossing dyes it is also used for removal of drill and taps from uh, components 
broken. Particularly once you went for a machining of uh, machining, suddenly you found that the drill bit is broken in the workpiece. In that case, drill bit is very hard, you know. That hard thing, if you want to remove, you have to have some machining process, which is uh, you know effective for those non-traditional kind of machining. So though drill bit, very hard, that is also a tool that can be you know removed by this EDM process. Okay, now next is uh, the wire cut EDM that I was saying that the uh, EDM, normal EDM, the disadvantage uh, they had, those who are basically removed by this wire cut EDM. Okay, so electric discharge machining wire cutting is a thermal principle is almost same. Uh, mass, uh, mass reducing process that uses a continuously moving wire to remove material. Here, the spool of you know, wire is used. Uh, uh, there were a fixed um, tool in the EDM, and here the spool of wire is used, which is you know continuously moving. A thin wire of brass, tungsten, or copper is used as an electrode. Deionized water is used as a, a dielectric medium. With the wire EDM, you can basically cut out any design. That I was telling that this is basically a limitless kind of. Uh, I mean operation capability, machinability. You can use uh, this wire cut EDM for machining any kinds of intricate shapes. Okay. Uh, the uh, uh, working principle is based on thermoelectric energy as normal EDM. The energy is created between workpiece and the tool. The principle is, as I said, principle is same. Tool just changing. Important characteristics, of uh, wire EDM, that is tool material has to be brass, tungsten, or copper. What piece material? It must be conducting material and alloys or super alloys, you can say as well. Very hard. And uh, process parameters, that is, uh, uh, what are the main process parameter where you can put the controls, voltage, spark gap, melting temperature of the wire. That's how the control mechanism is put. Those are the parameters where you put the controls. Material removal, melting, and vaporization. Okay, wire uh, diameter 0.25 millimeter, curve width that is 0.41 uh, millimeter. Dielectric uh, flushing pressure. Okay, these are uh, uh, I mean I believe they don't bear much to you. Uh, just uh, this is for uh, uh, some knowing that okay, these are the important characteristics. We switching to next slide. Major components. Okay, the major components of wire cut EDMs are CNC. The process is controlled by computer numeric control. Okay. As I said, that intricate, once you go for those intricate machining, basically uh, you have to put a design. And the design fed to a CNC. That will control that wire uh, or tool to cut that intricate design. So here, okay, this is underlying condition that it has to have a CNC. It is always CNC operated, computer numeric control operated. Okay, we, we are very much, uh, I mean, uh, familiar with CNC operation. Uh, say I work in a shipyard where I have a CNC plasma cutter. We cut all the plates through that. I have uh, say, in, uh, uh, say CNC drill machine we have. We have CNC vertical, in, uh, Say press bending machine, horizontal press bending machine. Those are CNC. Okay, so this can be put basically in uh, most of the machining process. And the EDM is wire cut EDM is a CNC process. Okay, now power supply need provide the energy for the spark mechanical section, work table, work stand, wire drive mechanism. Then wire drive mechanism means, as I said, that the wire is continuously moving in a wire cut. So there has to be a drive mechanism to take it from the spool and go through the workpiece and uh, uh, again, go back. You cannot reuse that wire. Okay. Dielectric system, the water reservoir where the filtration, condi uh, condi filtration con condition of water, resistivity, conductivity, and temperature of the water is provided and maintained. So these are the major components of wire cut EDM. So this is how the wire cut EDM looks. As I said that the uh, work piece that is submerged in the dielectric fluid 
and uh, dry electric uh, uh, fluid is the deionized water. You know, this has been you know, uh, recirculated, recirculated by filtration. The, uh, I mean, debris or flushed things are removed. Then again, it is reused. And the uh, uh, wire, you see there is wire guide. So there is a, a mechanism which uh, moves the wire continuously. Winds and rewinds. So uh, we can uh, shift to next slide, I believe. Okay, wire EDM machining process. In this process, a thin metallic wire is fed to the workpiece, which is submerged in a tank of dielectric fluid as deionized water, as we have shown here. So next is the wire, which is constantly fed from a spool is held between upper and lower uh, diamond guides. The uh, guides are usually CNC control. In the work at EDM process, water is commonly used as the dielectric fluid filters and deionized unit are used for controlling the resistivity and the electric properties. Okay, wires are made of brass, generally preferred. Uh, but we have uh, seen that the uh, material we can use brass, tungsten, copper, Tungsten copper can be used as well. Okay. The area uh, where the discharge takes place get heated to very high temperature, such that the surface gets melted and removed. Okay. The cut particles, debris, get flushed away by the continuously flowing dielectric fluid and keep the wire and workpiece cool as well as clean. The wire and workpiece must be electrically conductive. Yes, we have seen that the underlying condition is that, or the precondition is that. Then the schematic illustration of the wire again process, uh, I have already shown uh, the schematic illustration. As means 50 hours of machining can be performed with one reel of wire, which is then discarded. Okay, uh, uh, I'll show how this wire looks. It is very simple uh, uh, brass wire. Okay, pieces over 16 inch thick can be machined. So that is the limitation that uh, up to 16 inch. Okay. Work at EDM uh, applications, uh, aerospace industries, medical industries, electronics, semiconductors uh, applications. Home appliance, as I already said that the meat mincing machine, they use those uh, filter, uh, not filter, those strainer through which those meat comes out. Uh, they have different uh, types of those uh, strainer or beating as you, which you can say. So those are uh, uh, made by this uh, wire cut. Tool and die making industries. Then uh, in making gorges and camps. Camps, that is the uh, um, ice engine part, camp, uh, for the timing. Then cutting of gears, uh, fine cut gears, you can say for uh, precision here, then uh, manufacturing hard electrodes. Now, these are the products, as you can see. As I was telling on the top right, you see that that is a part of uh, the uh, meat mincing machine. Then uh, on the left, there are a number of gears, sun gears, uh, type of things internal gears, internal grooves. On the uh, bottom uh, left, some of the, uh, these are uh, some of the very intricate uh, design. Those are cut here. On the right, as you've seen, these are bevel gears. Helical gears are also there. Now the advantages, uh, machining accuracy is very high. Uh, as the cutting path is very small, there is very less removal ratio of uh, removal ratio of material. So you can design with the CNC that uh, you can make economic use of your workpiece. Okay, if you go for a batch production, you can make a CNC design. Okay, you can fit and you can uh, I mean maximize maximize. At the end of the uh, I mean uh, process, you will find that uh, the metal only remaining 
those are those cannot be used anyway those are scrap only like the jute of uh, ready made garments rmg factories during machining electrode wire doesn't touch what piece so there is no physical cutting force uh, intense temperature basically uh, create those uh, shapes and machining there is very little heat impact on the surface of the workpiece so uh, there should not be thermal stress as i can understand that uh, from here thermal stress should be less this uh, the heat impact on the surface of workpiece is less it can machine small shape holes small gap or job with complicated shape or you can say intricate shapes can be designed as i have shown already that those are the products that can be achieved uh, these are the products that can be achieved through uh, this uh, wire edm disadvantages okay surely it will consume a uh, high volt a high level of energy for sure Uh, only able to machine conductive materials that is one limitation but uh, that gives you the uh, uh, also one thing uh, you can basically uh, cut any type of metal any type of metal which is conductive condition is only it has to be conductive more expensive process than conventional milling or turning for sure uh, things uh, are little costly uh, future scope the mathematical model can be developed for different workpiece and electrode materials for edm and wire edm process responses like roundness circularity cylindricity machining cost etc uh, then uh, are to be uh, considered in future research as i said that the you know if you have some better way of uh, reducing that uh, high level of energy then probably you can uh, achieve more economy and intricate processes are always expensive that is the underlying fact then uh, the standard optimization procedure can be developed and optimal results are to be validated severely bought under various method among them the wire edm become more popular as i said it can basically cut any type of no limits hence uh, is there uh, also scope for a rotating type edm disc cutter which gives more material removal rate in uh, compared with wire edm then it gives machining option of producing highly complex parts independent of the mechanical properties of workpiece material it has economical advantage in compare in uh, if same shape of material was machined through any conventional process for sure it, you have to have number of machine to perform uh, say one workpiece perform the operation on work, one workpiece in this process the stochastic uh, sparking phenomena depends on both electrical and non electrical parameters and the quality of machine surface and metal removal rate also depends on type of dielectric fluid were used uh, the uh, i mean type of dielectric fluids uh, particularly this point is like that if you have better quality deionized uh, uh, dielectric fluid once there is ionized ionization hydrocarbon is that's why you prefer sometimes uh, what will happen you know uh, this part this spark it will not erode your what piece rather it will you know uh, go with that uh, ion and it will neutralize that ion that will ha happen so deionization or deionized uh, uh, liquid fluid those are required now few idiom terminology as i have said deionized water we have already discussed what is deionized water still uh, it is uh, often synonymous with demineralized water as i have said you remove the hard part of the water there is hard water you make soften it by removing those uh, salts or scales such as uh, uh, say 
cations like uh, sodium, calcium, iron, and copper, anions such as cobalt, sulfur. So that is how it is deionized. You remove those cations and anions from the water, it is deionized water. Remove the minerals as well. Deionization is a chemical process that uses specially manufactured ion exchange resins, which exchange hydrogen and hydroxyl ion uh, for dissolved minerals and then recombine to form water. Then a dielectric liquid, a liquid uh, uh, dielectric is a dielectric material in liquid state. Its main purpose is to prevent or rapidly quench the electric discharge. As I have said, the temperature uh, I mean, generated is huge. Heat generated is too much. So the cooling medium has to be there. So it is the dielectric liquid. Okay. Another thing is dielectric liquids are used as electrical insulator in high voltage applications. This is a very high voltage. Uh, the uh, potential difference between the workpiece and the work, uh, tool is very high. And that's how the spark is created. So uh, like uh, this transformer, capacitor, high voltage cables and switch gear. Okay. Next is, as I've said that the pulse DC, what is pulse DC? The first one is you can see the sinusoidal valve. Well, that is the AC. Half part rectified. Okay. And the last one, that is the full wave of rect rectification. The last one, that is the pulsed DC, which is used in the power supply unit. Next is the difference between die sinking or say normal EDM and the wire EDM. These are the tools for the uh, normal EDM. You can uh, uh, go through this presentation, I mean, this thing we have already discussed. This is the wire cut EDM, or these are the, you know, the wire, the spool that is used in uh, uh, wire cut EDM. Okay, I have a, a difference. I have uh, made a different, uh, different table there. So there are similarities and there are dissimilarities. So this is the similarities, both dry sinking EDM or normal EDM and wire EDM are thermal energy based non traditional machining process. None of them is considered as hybrid process, okay? Then uh, the mechanism of material same in both the cases. This mechanism is nothing but spark erosion or melt and vaporization of what metal due to the extreme localized temperature of a spark. This is uh, uh, suitable dielectric fluid like uh, uh, deionized water, kerosene is supplied in both cases to assist spark generation and debris removal. Presence of suitable potential difference between tool electrode or cathode and the workpiece of the anode is indispensably necessary. That means operiharjo, it will be for the background of electric dielectric fluid. Okay. None of them is associated with the production of bar residual stress. Okay. None of them relies on mechanical properties of what materials such as strength, hardness, ductility. Differences are uh, like this. Uh, sir, should I continue with the difference? It will be there. Um, I think you have taken already a long time. Um, start, it, is, so. it will be like 25 minutes. Okay. Start, start, start. Um, start. You can quickly finish. Uh, Presentation. Sorry, right. So if you allow, I was just giving this thing for you know, uh, just to have the ideas. Uh, they can take it. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I have finished, sir. Uh, sir, uh, uh, class, thank you very much for uh, patient here. Okay. Um, uh, thank you, Mr. Mahabu Hassan, for your nice presentation. Uh, your presentation is clearly really good. Um, uh, there uh, and the slides are uh, also good. Uh, you made the slides. You know. The only thing is that uh, you should keep it my uh, in in your mind that if you add more and more, you have to read more and more for your exam. Okay. Um, anyway, Sorry, sir. <laughs> uh, that's all right. Um, uh, it was like twenty five minutes for uh, time for your presentation. Um, otherwise, uh, your uh, presentation is okay. Everything is all right. And uh, I'll go to the audience. Uh, do you have any question? I think the audience do not have any question. 
So, 